find trustworthy service people. Saved us thousands of dollars. And I know they have my back. Last year alone, we saved our customers over $140 million. Don't wait until it's too late. You're stuck with a huge repair bill. If you don't have First American Warranty, get it. Call 1-800-310-9149 or visit protectmybudget.com for a free no-obligation quote. That's 1-800-310-9149. I was under the impression I had made it clear that I don't want company there. Not you, not me. All right, all right. We were in the neighborhood and I had an idea for you. A good idea. You're thinking too much, Billy. Lately you've had too many ideas and that's my department. All you have to do is what you're told. Okay, then. I'm sorry. And believe me, from now on you can be a hermit. But just try to listen to what I've got to say. I've listened, Billy. It makes me uneasy. The shoemaker should stick to his last. Cars are simple and safe. We have a system. I don't like taking chances. And houses are dangerous. But this can't miss. The boy at the parking lot picks up the car. He makes a duplicate of the house. He gets the address from the registration. We go there and clean the house. Then what if the march should return home unexpectedly? Well, he can't. Our boy at the parking lot has to bring in the car. If he does, he calls us at the location. I need time to get clear. He gets a piece of tape, Ben. You say Robin arranged the job as parking attendant for tape. You told her why. Well, I had to. Look, you can trust Robin. She, she's all right. But she's a woman, Billy. And in an enterprise such as ours, I just like having to trust the female. But trust me, Ben. It's all set, and it'll be okay. Very well, Billy. You're on your responsibility. We shall proceed. Good. Master, you remain for a moment, please. Pardon me, are you Mr. Mason? Miss Brent? I believe you said you were a friend of Lane Beale. I shouldn't even be here if anybody had found out. But you did call me, and you are here. Now, why? Because Lenny said I gave him a break. Only if he takes advantage of it. He's a good kid, Mr. Mason, and he'd like to do what you want, but he's afraid. I want you to be honest with me, Miss Spring. The police believe Lenny's involved with the car stripping you. The police are right, aren't they? Knowing that, you still wanted him to let go? I thought I saw something worth saving. But will he take a chance on reaching you? You did reach him, Mr. Mason. And there's only one way for him to help himself. That's to tell the police everything he knows. And go to jail for 10, maybe 15 years? I stuck my neck out this far. I'm willing to go a little further, if you'll go along with me. Huh? I'll ask the district attorney to give Lenny immunity if he testifies. If the district attorney agrees, I'll get back to you. That's the only way? That's the only way. Counselor with the police when they wanted you to bring charges against that boy that apparently helped strip your car. Now you want me to cooperate with you? And why should I believe this girl? Why do you believe her if you really do? Do you really think that Lenny B is going to walk in voluntarily and give evidence against his friends? Well, I'm hopeful Robin will persuade him to confess that. <laughs> Damn it, dog. Get back over here. I think we got that thing. I suppose I can hurt the car and bring it back.
okay? Yeah. You okay? Kind of sore. Uh, I'm punching in the face again. Um, hey, huh? I'll give you 20 bucks. You drive me into a wall or Huh? I'll give you 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You give it right to Walla. I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere. I went up all night and I'm about to lay down here for a time. I'll give you $20. Huh? I'll give me right to Walla. Huh? I'll give you $20. To where? To give me a right to Walla. To where? To Walla, I'm back. Walla? Yeah, I'm right I'm back. Nah, I don't want to go in the town. I just got back. And then stuff. I don't feel. I don't feel like going anywhere. I'm Let's go, man. Show. Huh? I'll give you thirty bucks. Huh? Thirty. I can't hear you. What? Thirty bucks. I don't want to go anywhere, man. I'm sorry. Right, sorry. I just don't feel. I feel like going anywhere. Right, I don't mean to be a pain, but I just don't want to go anywhere. Huh? Cigarro? What? You got a cigarette? Yeah, let me go in the house. I'll give you a cigarette. But yeah, I don't, I don't feel like going anywhere. I made a box. Didn't know Bill Sykes, and I don't know this boy in any deal. 
Okay, you're able to get this back on. My name is... Huh? You're able to get this back on. Your oh, plan has forced me to defend myself against absurd and scurrilous charges. For the first time in my life, I have seen the inside of a police station. Now, who has the plan, Mr. Strauss? Obviously, you have to pick your name for the police station, I guess. choice again and he chose not due process of law but the remorseless inexorable code of the underworld and that's why he's here today your honor quite properly being tried as an adult not as a juvenile he has demonstrated that he's not a delinquent child but a hardened criminal a hardened criminal who's seeking revenge for the murder of that girl deliberately and with premeditation went to the apartment of william sykes and killed him with his own knife well, like I was telling you when you took me to lunch, Mr. Burke. Let's get right to the point, Miss Sawyer. Just tell the court, please, what the defendant said to you when you saw him the night of the murder. Well, uh, he was, like, running out of the case. He nearly knocked me down. And I said, uh, what's your hurry, little boy? And he said, uh, Bill did it. He killed Robin, and I'll kill him. 
Yes, Mr. Berger. This was the knife we found in the body of the decedent, William Sykes. Were there fingerprints on it, Lieutenant? There were several, but most belonged to him. You see, we found this was his knife. But there were other prints. There were at least three identifiable ones. His right thumb, right index finger, and the third finger. Who made those prints, Lieutenant? The defendant, Mr. Berger. Leonard Beale. <laughs>
for a welcome to the family We Quinn Marathon. All right then, I will. Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman on FETV. Do you spend hours maintaining your gutters? Save that time with LeapGuard's maintenance-free system. Call 1-833-2-GUTTERS. Mesh filters sit on top of your gutters and don't have to free and bed with Then they need to be cleaned too. 